start off with um, the holiday obviously can't leave the plate. Um, didn't get caught up with running anybody, uh, held his ground, made a good throw. Uh, Odor, heads up, stayed under control. Uh, you get in a situation there where you start you know, jailbreaking after a runner, uh, then you got to stop and redirect yourself. But uh, I, I think more than anything else, our guys showed uh, the presence of mind to stay in control, calm, uh, and then obviously Odor turned and throw a strike to to uh, Holiday, and then you know by that time Gaddis was all the way to third base, and um, we just continued to run at at Rasmus. He needed had to make a choice or either retreat all the way back, and uh, one of them was going to be out anyways. But Cole did sell down after the, the Desmond throw to second, and that seemed to get him in a pretty good groove for the next couple, three innings. Yes, he did. Pretty special throw by, by Desmond. We've we've seen that in spring training. We've seen some nice throws so far this year, and and really it's obvious weapon out in the outfield. Um, great play by him. And again, it's a, a nice tag. Um, uh, so. Uh, to get that, to get him, get him out of the inning, and he settled in. I, I think after the the two hit batters, and uh, we helped him out to get out of both of those innings. Um, and then he found his groove and got to the point there in the last inning for him. His pitch count was up. It was felt like it was at a point that we're maybe a little fatigue. Um, so we decided to make a change and and bring the big guys out of the bullpen and, and let them do their work. Jeff, it seems like with almost every start that he throws more and more two seamers and fewer and fewer four seamers. Is it unusual for a guy to be able to make the kind of evolution that he's made at this stage in his career? Well, uh, just because they say two seamers on the board doesn't mean they're two seamers. I mean, his fastball runs and cuts. Uh, so um, I think Cole has really good feel for the baseball, uh, knows what he wants to do. Um, when you got good feel with with a baseball, and you trust your release point. You can manipulate the ball, but um, this is—I don't know that I would call it an evolution. I, I would call it uh, using his his tool set. What kind of flexibility do Dyson and Beekman give you there at the back end? Yeah, it's uh, we've grown comfortable with with those two guys, strikeout ground ball guy, and, and, and Dyson with the. With a power sinker and power slider, uh, and a and a change up just just because, and then Deakman, uh, the ability to get both right and uh, left handers out, um, you know, uh, the way things set up, with the with the quick out by 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 Dyson, the ability to to running back out there with the two right handers, uh, and then however it went we were going to bring Deekman in on on Rasmus didn't didn't feel like that they would pinch hit for Rasmus and in that situation and and uh, you know we we feel comfortable with those two guys i mean whether it's right-handed or left-handed hitters Jerry yeah, if I could follow up on that well before tonight you've used Deekman against right-handed hitters in clutch situations mm -hmm. what is it specifically about him that earns that trust for you to use him against the right-handed hitter? Well, it's, it's been the body of work so far with what we've seen from him, the ability to throw strikes. He's, you know, obviously the delivery with the crossfire delivery and the velocity and to add the slider in there, it's, he, he's tough to pick up. And um, you you got to choose what, are you, what you're going to cover, whether you're going to cover the fastball, you're going to cover the slider, whether you're in or out, and he can go in both directions. So uh, when you've got that in your toolbox, it, you make it challenging for hitters. How would you say your rivalry with the Astros contributed to the game tonight? <clears throat> say that again, please. How would you say your rivalry with the Astros contributed to the game tonight? Well, it's, uh, I love the fact that, that this is a building rivalry in, in a sense that first to have a rivalry, you, you both have to be um, 
really good ball clubs and uh, obviously with us winning the West and and then win the wild card uh, um, and the proximity uh, in state uh, we like playing against them they love playing against us and they play hard we play hard and and you know the the challenge is is, is keeping that energy level up for every single game you talked about <clears throat> before the game, the importance for Hamels about managing the pitch count tonight. What was his reaction uh, coming out with 106 pitches in the seventh inning? Well, it's a discussion that we had on the on the mound when I went out and talked to him to where, you know, gave him assessment where I thought he was at. and He let me know where he was at. and uh, I mean, he, he's a pro. He understands exactly where he is. And uh, he's been in those situations before. Uh, he understood that it was it was time to turn it over to to those guys he trusts in the bullpen also